Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we are going to learn how to use a while loop. Okay, and so for that, I am I am taking a demo wherein I will be asking customer how many movie tickets he he wants. Let's say customer says five, then I am going to print all the movie tickets, and this is our format TKT one zero one. Post which I am going to also inform you the total price of all the tickets. Let's say five tickets. So each ticket, let's say I will give a price of one fifty into number five. So that is how I am going to design the bot. So let's see a demo. All right. So this is the uh, demo bot, and we are going to learn how to use a while loop and a list container. Okay. So now I am going to type let's say five tickets. So the while loop is helping me to print this. and it's saying as you have selected five movie tickets i am going to calculate the price and provide ticket numbers okay now you can see how it is nicely printed all the ticket numbers 1 2 3 4 5 with the format that i wanted and then it's telling me the total price you need to pay is 750 rupees wonderful so let's see how to design it okay for that let's get started i'm going to click on new sequence and say ticket while demo while loop demo and i'm going to click on create all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to ask a input dialog box take a input dialog box and here i'm going to ask the customer tell the customer the price of each ticket is 150 and the next thing is i'm going to ask how many number of tickets do you need okay this is the question the moment he enters 5 i want that to be stored in a variable for that i am using control k and i'm going to type user input so that this gets stored in user input now quickly go to variable panel and change it from generic value to integer so i know that's the proper variable integer type done Now next thing I am going to use a while loop. Okay, in while loop, let's say customer is entering five, right? I am going to run a condition until it is five. You keep on printing tickets. For that, I will create another variable called counter. So this is the counter, and this is also integer thirty-two. And I am going to make the sequence with the entire one and give a default value one. Okay, done. Now here, the default. Remember this because this we have to use a lot many times. So if I go here, the counter variable is something declared as one. Remember this. Now we'll go back. Here I am saying counter is less than equals to the user input. So user input. So if you're saying five, until it is less than equals to five, it is going to print all the tickets. Okay. Now. The new thing that we are going to learn is a container where all the tickets will be printed and stored, and finally we'll print that container itself. So for that we'll be learning a new uh, data type called list. So to create a list, first thing I'm going to use a method called add to collection. Okay, this is the method for the list. Now to uh, you know I need to first create a container in which all the tickets should be getting stored so why you will have a question why are we not using a array why we have to go for a list even array can do the job right okay now here the customer's input is dynamic he might say five tickets he might say 10 tickets he might say nine tickets so array will not have that kind of a formatting feature wherein i can dynamically assign the number of uh, inputs that customer is entering so that's why we are using list so here i am going to create a name called ticket container okay where all the tickets will be created and stored and here remember i have to click on browse for types and type it here list okay and out of all this you have to select the system dot collection dot generic list of t and type string because ticket is a string type tkt101 right so i'm clicking on string done now here when you um, you know create a list container you should ensure that this is initialized otherwise this method will not work for that you have to say new 
list bracket of what type string type so I am saying string so done so the con uh, the list container is initialized ticket container I am going to minimize this add to collection so this is the method here the collection name is ticket container I am going to click on ok ticket container now the error that we have got is let's see what is the error ticket container object ok object type what is this this has to be a string type so done that error is gone ok so this is how you remember now the next point is you have to add an item so how I want my tickets to be printed tkt101 ok plus the container the counter has a number 1 right so I want to say 1011 so I will say counter ok but again this is remember our container is a string type so I have to convert this to to string to string done so now the ticket can be printed inside the container called ticket print container right ticket container in that all the tickets will be printed so how now let me because if he is entering five tickets it has to keep on the value of the counter has to increase right for that I'll use a assign and below this okay now below this I am going to say counter is equal to counter plus one so it will become the first value will be one one zero one ticket will be printed next it become two next three four five so all the tickets get printed and getting stored in this container called ticket container done simple now post which but, but remember all your things should convert to entire sequence otherwise you will not be able to use that variable so I, I would recommend for the moment while we are learning to ensure all the variables are declared to the main sequence okay for the moment but again later we can optimize that as we need okay so this is done all the tickets now got printed now the next thing I want is a message box which is going to show all the tickets got printed right so I will type a message box drag this below the while loop and I am going to start printing it for that I am going to say first I will say hi please find your tickets your tickets done now plus below that I want to write so if you want to make another line remember this environment dot new line done then I will say again plus here because this is not um, having good enough space to type so what I am going to use is this one okay the, the editor plus I am going to say string dot join and I want to print all the tickets right again I want all the tickets to be printed one by one so I am going to say so I will show you two different formats okay you can put a comma and a space and comma and then I would say ticket container this is the it's going to print all this so we'll see how it is printing okay let me run this quickly <coughs> so the first thing it's going to ask me is number of tickets so let's say I'm saying five click on okay so hi please find your tickets tkt101 1012 so all the five tickets got printed right this is great news but the problem is it's printing everything in one line I want one by one below that so how to do that okay for well, that's very simple come over here go to the text editor and then expression editor and here I am going to instead of comma I am going to write environment dot new line okay that's all so click on okay so that's how it's going to type I'm going to show that in the final demo the next thing I also need to print the ticket price right so I'll use another message box for the moment and I'm going to print the ticket price now the tick uh, before you could you need to calculate the ticket price so for that I'm using a assign activity and just above this I'm going to calculate the ticket price so have you created a variable no so I will say total price is the variable and this should supposed to be an integer type done okay 
now I'll come back and here I will say total price equals to I know 150 is the price of each ticket right so 150 into user input so user saying 5 into, that's very simple simple mathematics so done so this is going to calculate and all I have to type this one the total price you need to pay to pay is then I'll use a plus sign and here I will say total price but total price is integer so I have to convert that to string to string why because it's a message box a string to string done all right so demo is complete let's run this once the execution has started let's, let's say I'm entering let me say 10 tickets I want how many tickets 10 click on ok so you can see how nicely it has printed all the 10 ticket tickets and then the moment you click on ok it's saying 1500 you need to pay okay now one problem I could see it here is there is no space right e is 1500 so how do you rectify that again come back and give a small space over here and that's how you rectify let's run it one more final time So here I'm going to enter let's say I want seven tickets click on ok all the seven tickets got printed very nice click on ok so I have to pay 1050 okay so this is uh, the entire uh, demo and here we learned how to um, you know use a list variable how to use the while loop so there's a lot of learning please do repeat the video in case you want to uh, could not get couple of things please repeat it it's quite easy and you will be able to do it all right so thank you for watching this video guys and i'll come back with another new video thank you for watching and keep um, liking the videos thank you